Hello Navigator. In this video, I am going to talk about the daily reporting system from the ship. As a conventional practice, we can see second mates are usually managing this uh, noon report on behalf of master. Here in this video, I will try to brief about all the reports including arrival and departure reports. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Let's consider this is your ship and the ship is departing from one port let's say port a and it will arrive in port b so from a to b how we will manage the noon report this is the concern okay so very first thing there will be a departure report first upon departure from port a okay so this is number one number two every noon we have to report even if it is on the same day of departure okay so noon report so this is how it will go up to the end of sea passes or the arrival report end of sea passes or other way known as arrival report here as you understood first thing is departure next thing is noon and then every noon to noon then arrival so after arrival what will happen after arrival we can write number four daily at port i believe you will find it very common in every reporting system like if it is uh, for vesslink or if it is for the mirror reporting or any other company specific reporting you have i believe it will you will find the same format this daily at port includes whether you are at anchorage or you are at birth or maneuvering maneuvering okay maneuvering after end of sea passes declare so once your master will declare that end of sea passes that means till next commence of sea passes everything will be daily at port we have considered from a to b from port a to port b now there are some cases when we need to declare end of sea passes several time like if from a to b if from a to b there is sewage transit okay then for sewage canal transit there will be end of sea passes and again commence of sea passes like this so let's consider this vessel is coming from somewhere in europe this b means transit switch canal in this case what will happen a equals to departure port b equals to transit c equals to arrival port okay now you have to understand after departure report you have you got to make noon report then end of sea passes for switch transit then whole switch canal transit it will be daily at port now once it is departed from the switch canal then you have to then you will have the declaration of comments of sea passes again and then again noon then noon to noon and then end of sea passes for the arrival port for final arrival now let's talk about the distances okay usually for loading passes there is uh, one type of uh, chartering clause and for ballast passes there is separate type of chartering clause for speed you are the one who is calculating that speed as per the distance covered and this distance should be of course over the ground so for loading passes if we consider the whole load passes then we have to add up all the uh, distances that is between commence of sea passes and end of sea passes then you can see whether your voyage speed is according to the charter party clause or not and the same formula is applicable for the ballast passes okay so that's how you have to calculate for the speed calculation on the passes and speed of course directly depend upon the distance and distance always distance made good that means distance over ground.
now let me talk about some additional information like uh, every noon or every uh, in every reporting like including comments of cpss and end of cpss you will find to declare about the weather so you will just report for that particular zone apart from this very important part is engine consumption these consumptions of course included the auxiliary engine consumption boiler consumption and main engine consumption for igg consumption that is for inert gas or nitrogen gas system the last one is common in tanker vessel anyways so this part this consumption part is basically uh, will be updated by the engineers and you just need to cooperate with engineers as how your vessel maintaining now let us summarize common reporting informations required like position distance covered then running hours and running hour indicates the total hours of the reporting like if you have one hour advance one hour retard in that case you have to make the running hours accordingly okay then log speed and distance and log speed and distance indicates your water speed and distance and water speed and distance you will find from the speed log and value is commonly will find different from the uh, ground distance because log speed or log distance depend upon the water flow weather conditions and some common engine items like rob means remaining on board rob quantity of fuels various fuels and consumption positions distance covered running hours of engine log speed or distance weather conditions rob quantity of various fuels and consumptions these six items are most common items you will find to report in any type of reports that's the basic idea of uh, noon report the purpose of this kind of noon reports are basically to monitor the vessel's performance based on the weather the ship's noon report or this uh, all these voice reports are uh, collectively known as voice abstract for particular voice and this uh, reports are basically helping to monitor the performance of the vessel charterers and owners are mostly interested to to know about the performance of the vessel in a continuous basis that is why these reports are important just to add something new like uh, there are some other kinds of reports for the passage plan and all those reports including ember report you will find videos on all those topic in my channel so please subscribe my channel and stay connected thank you so much for watching this video hope to meet you in next video